Hey guys, it's Rob here. Today we're going over quite the retro location, that being Jonesboro, Georgia. Home to the first road stage, it also kept retro elements for quite a long time, which we'll also discuss in detail. No one has actually requested this location, so let's move on. As usual, I've gathered information from multiple different sources, which I'll be linking in the description. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, as in the next video we'll be going over another location with some retro elements up until their remodel. Anyways, let's get into the history of Chuck E. Cheese in Jonesboro, Georgia. 335 River Upperdale Road location opened on November 20th, 1990 as the Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza, opening with the 1986 remodel, which means they would have had an exterior sign that looked something like this, had white walls, color checkers, blue and white onyx for the salad bar, and decor such as these parody posters. They would also open with the first ever road stage installed into a location. It was also different from the later design of the road stage, so let's go over those with some photos of Jonesboro's road stage upon opening. The first and potentially most major difference is the fact that there was a road located right in front of the stage, hence where the name came from. There was also no valance and wink above the original road stage. The last major difference is the placement of the large screen and the lack of the Munch's Make Believe Band logo, as the large screen here is located above Munch, and where the large screen is located in later road stages, is the Chuck E. Cheese neon sign instead. The building backdrops are also different as well, plus located in different areas. Pasquale also had a building beside him with the name Pasquale on it, which isn't in the later road stages at all. There's also more minor differences such as the addition of name tags on the later road stages, plus the older arm styles of Munch and Pasquale being used on those stages, but the ones I listed are the most important and major changes. I'll also mention here that you can see one of the 1986 remodeled decor pieces here, that being this Chuck portrait. Footage from 1991 gives us a look at the store's showroom, where we get to see the bots perform, and they seem to be in pretty good shape, with the only issue I can see here being Pasquale's arms not moving. We also get to see some of the decor here, plus the ball crawl. We also get to see their walk around here, that being the late 80s to early 90s Chuck head in full tux attire. 1992 footage shows the stage was changed some, with the changes that came with the later road stage design now being incorporated into this one. We also get a better look at the ball pit and the games, plus see their Helen walk around, being the 90s one. The stage isn't showing off very well here, so I can really only say that Chuck is in good shape here from the footage we see of him. 1995 footage shows off a bit of the show, we see it to be in pretty good shape, with no issues I can see here. We also get to see their Chuck walk around during this time, that being the 90s head in full tux attire. In 1996, they would receive the Phase 1 game package, and would likely replace the road stage with a 1 stage around this time as well. We can see into the new stage in a photo from the late 90s, where we see that Chuck is missing his tooth here. Around the late 90s, this location would receive the Operation Thumbchuck remodel, receiving a new Thumbchuck exterior, adding newer decor to replace the older decor, and receiving the sky tubes to replace the ball pit. We get a better look at the one stage in a photo from 1999, where it looks to have been quite the small one stage, though not a mini unit, and see proof that the location had received the Operation Thumbchuck remodel by this point due to this planter in a bit of the shelf on the left side of the photo. A photo from 2000 shows off more of the decor, with the CD award posters being visible in the background. We also see their Chuck walk around, which looks to pretty much be the same one as from 1995. That same year, Jonesboro would replace their one stage with a Studio C stage, commonly referred to as the Alpha stage, and a bit of newer Operation Thumbchuck decor as a result of this, which I'll show off later. We have a photo of the exterior from December of 2007, which gives us an extremely blurry look at it, where we can barely make out the red and yellow awning. Footage from 2009 gives us a look at the showroom area, where we get our first look at the Studio C pot, where it looks to be in great shape, with no issues you can see here. He's in full Avenger attire here, including the cap. We also get a look at some of the Operation Thumbjet decor, plus the green and black booths. They also still had their interactive console and blue screen camera by this point, as expected. We get a better look at the exterior with the awning in 2012, as can be seen here. By the 2010s, the location would receive some cool Chuck reconfiguration booths, and add some of the red and blue booths from the Operation Thumbchuck remodel into here as well. These would be installed throughout the store, being installed right beside the Operation Thumbchuck booths as well. This was the only part of the cool Chuck reconfiguration remodel this location would receive. By 2015, this location would also remove the red and yellow awning, and no new awning would be installed in its place. There's not really much in the way of footage during this time, though we do have a video from 2018 that shows off the Studio C bot again, where we seem to be in full Rockstar attire by this point. They also still had their curtains by this point. The blue screen and interactive console would also be removed at some point during the 2010s, leaving the black wall behind it with the ticket blaster in front. Store tour from 2019 finally gives us a good look at the store, where we see right off the bat that the sky tubes and taller zone were gone by this point. We also get to see all the retro decor pieces they had by this point, including the Studio C dining piece, which is the new decor piece that was added when the Studio C stage was installed. 
honestly, seeing this showroom still in its original state with the Studio C stage is very cool, as it looks quite retro having the stage alongside all of its original elements. Also seeing older elements here that hardly were kept later on in other stores, such as these film reel decor pieces, is also very nice to see. 2020 footage still shows the bot to be in great shape, again with no issues I can see here. 2021 footage shows the same thing, with, again, no issues I can see here. Photos from June of 2022 show a couple of things missing from the store, including the art from the City Award poster, plus one of the Chuck statues from one of the shelves. I'm not sure if these were removed because of what was to come soon for this location or not, but speaking of which, this location would start its 2.0 remodel the next month, in July of 2022. This would change the exterior to a simplistic rockstar exterior, paint all the walls white, add a newer decor to replace the older decor, tore down the showroom walls, and replace the Studio C stage with a 2021 model dance floor and video wall. Some of the latest footage of the bot comes from June of 2022, where the bot is still in great shape, yet again with no issues I can see here. As for the fate of the stage, it's unknown, though it was likely destroyed as that's what usually happens during these remodels. They also received the trampoline zone by 2024. As of November of 2024, the location still has the 2.0 remodel, with a 2021 model dance floor and video wall. In conclusion, Jonesboro is quite the interesting location, having the first ever road stage with quite a few differences to the later version, plus housing a Studio C later in its life and remaining quite retro throughout its run up until 2022. Overall, this was quite the retro location to go over. Thank you guys for watching this video. It was nice to be able to go over a store which, in a way, was a part of Chuck E. Cheese's overall history, as the road stage was the first Cyberamic Bunches Make Believe Band stage, and this location got the first one of it. My next video will be an update video, going over Asheville again, which was recently remodeled. There's some new stuff on the first location as well, which is also why I wanted to update this video. If you're interested in seeing that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you're notified when it drops. God bless, and I hope you all have a blessed day.